station on Space to Ground. Almost time to suit up. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. Two astronauts are on the road to a spacewalk. Jeff Williams and Kate Rubin spent the week preparing for their trip out into space scheduled for August 19th. To get ready, they reviewed timelines, talked to ground experts, gathered tools, and tried on their spacesuits. The pair will be installing the first international docking adapter, a new gateway that will allow future commercial crew spacecraft from SpaceX and Boeing to dock with the orbiting lab. The 2016 Perseid meteor shower peaks August 11th and 12th, and one camera on station will watch the show from 250 miles above. The meteor investigation spots space rocks as they tumble towards Earth. Since the view from station isn't affected by weather or interference from the Earth's atmosphere, scientists can learn more about meteor composition and behavior. The first views of these shooting stars showed up in July, and major showers like the Perseid can produce more than 100 visible meteors per hour. This week, Timothy wants to know, has a telescope ever been sent to ISS? Yes, quite a few actually, and they have pointed both at Earth and out into the cosmos. Telescopes on the station study our home planet and the universe in just about every part of the electromagnetic spectrum. There are numerous visible light telescopes, like the ISERV experiment, which was used to take thousands of images of our changing planet. Some see in hyperspectral, which allowed the HYCO experiment to monitor algae blooms on coastal oceans. And some even see extremely high frequency gamma rays, like the Colette experiment that's searching for signatures of dark matter and the origin of cosmic rays. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.